Images can make or break performance of your websites. So as you look to add more and more images, optimizations around them come more and more important. In this video, let's take a look at the Next.js 10 image component and how it can help make your site smaller and faster. All right, so as you might know, uh, Next.js Conf was just a few weeks ago and they released several different features, talked about a lot of exciting things, but probably one of the most exciting pieces was their new image component. Now, if you come from a Gatsby background, if you have experience with Gatsby, you probably are familiar with the Gatsby image component. And it's something that people absolutely love. So if you look at this battle between uh, Gatsby and Next, and which one do you go with, which one does what better, one of the benefits that Gatsby has had up until recently is specifically its, its image component. Things that can add optimizations, which we'll see more about in a second, around images because they are so common, so prevalent in our sites, but they can have significant negative impact on our performance if we don't take care of them intentionally. So again, Next.js came out with lots of new features in their Next.js version 10. The biggest one, at least for me, was the image component. So again, just want to clarify, you will have to have uh, Next.js version 10 or higher for this to work to use this image component. But what we're going to do is take a look at a little example here. We have a little sample here, website that has three different images of New York. Now, I lived in New York uh, for a little bit of time myself, and I missed the city. I haven't been able to travel there in a year and a half or so. I missed the city, so I figured it'd be kind of cool to do some demos here around uh, New York City images. So what I have is I use create next app to generate a new next application. And then uh, one of the most important things is I stripped out all of kind of the base styling inside of here. So it comes by default using modules and it sets up a container and a main thing in here and it uses styles. Those will mess up and kind of uh, trick you into thinking that this Next.js component image component wasn't working. I struggled with that for a while. So I ripped all of that out and I'm just starting from scratch here. Most importantly with three different image tags. So I've got uh, New York City one, two, and three. Alt could be more specific. And then I've set heights and widths based on uh, the actual height and width of the original images. So if we look at this site and we look inside of our network tab, we'll see that this is going to one, request all of these at the same time. And then also if we move the name over and expand the size, you can see these are relatively big, 500 kilobytes, 800 kilobytes, and 600 kilobytes. And no matter how small I make the screen, when I refresh, it's still ask or still retrieving the same size images and it's still retrieving them all at one time. What the Next.js image component will do is it will basically create different versions, different sizes of our images, and then it will request the appropriate size based on the size of the screen, as well as it will do lazy loading on these images. So if you look right now, when we started at the top here, you can't see this bottom image. So why would we ever request that image unless the user is can see it or is about to see it? That's what lazy loading in this case is called. So let's look at how we would switch this over to use that image component. Uh, well, it's pretty simple. We import to the new image comp component up here, and then we replace our image tag with our image component that we just imported. So it's pretty much a one-to-one -one there. And I did want to note that uh, the width and height in here for these Next.js image components are required. And what Next.js wants to do is it wants to know how much room this image is going to take up so that if it is taking a bit to load, you don't have that jump when the image finally loads. And this is called, let's look this up, Next.js cumulative layout. So the cumulative layout shift and what this is again is when you go to click on something but then when you go to click something else has loaded in and you end up clicking on the wrong thing so you always want to in this case what this is going to help do is have make sure that this image is taking up space even if it hasn't loaded in yet so that you don't have this shift of stuff inside of your sites it's actually a really nice feature so we'll replace all of these with this image component. We give the width and the height, and this is again, the original width and height of these images. And then Next.js is gonna take care of the rest. This is all we have to do. And you'll see several things, which turns out really cool here. So let's clear out this, let's scroll to the top and let's just kind of see this in action. So we start here, you can see two images on the screen. Notice only two images are being requested. And that is because 
As we scroll down to this third image, as it's about to get shown, Next.js now will lazy load that image. How cool is that? We're not gonna request images that the user isn't looking at or about to look at, there's no point. All right, so that's pretty cool. And I can scroll down and no extra requests are being made. That's cool too. So now let's do this. Uh, let's exaggerate this a little bit. What if we start on a really small screen? Let's do a, a refresh here and let's see what is inside of these names that come back. Uh, so notice these have query parameters for a width parameter, 768, 768, 768. Let's make this even smaller and let's refresh again and notice now that this is gonna be 424, 2420, and I might even get another size if I make this even a bit smaller. Now it's 323, 2320, and now look at the sizes. 22 kilobytes, 14 kilobytes, uh, 17 kilobytes. So those are significantly smaller, and then they get bigger. So as we then raise up our screen, as we widen our screen, we can see that it will request the different sizes. 420, notice those are a little bit bigger, that makes sense. Then we go up and we should get something in the 700, 768. So these images are going to appropriately load the right size based on the screen width. And then their sizes are optimized too. So not only like the width and height of the file, but the actual size in terms of kilobytes is optimized here. So we can go, I think the last one is our 1200 and that should be the biggest one for all of these. And you should see, yeah, that 1200 there. And there's also, you see a Q parameter in that URL. Uh, that is the quality. So you can uh, kind of downgrade your quality or upgrade your quality depending on what you want. So I'll leave a link to the uh, the documentation for the uh, image component inside of Next.js version 10 below and you can go and read all of this stuff. There's some different configurations that you can add uh, your device sizes, image sizes, your domain, where you want to load images from. So if you're gonna load images from an external site, you need to set that in there. And uh, you can use different loaders like Cloudinary and stuff like that. This is really, really cool and really a game changer for Next.js. As it's starting to make momentum and kind of take people away from the Gatsby ecosystem, this is a game changer that people have been waiting for. So I'm curious, are you using the image component in Next.js 10? If you're not, go and give it a shot. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Thanks as always for checking out the video and I'll catch you later.